Hello, welcome to my channel and to the subscriber. Thank you so much for supporting me. And today's video is all about the rotations of the house of Versace. My top five fragrance of Versace. Coming up, my number five is Versace Man of Fresh. This is very good fragrance. This is classified as fruity, spicy, and woody. Because there is bergamot, lemon, and star fruit. What I like in this fr fragrance because of the star fruits. We Asian, like especially in the Philippines, we love to eat star fruit. That's why I, I love this fragrance and it's very hot summer this is my go-to summer one of my favorite summer scent it's very if you're really a high heat i go for this and the the spicy notes on the middle it's that's making you know that fruity and and the woody and the spiciness of it is really fresh it's you can even over spray this because it's really good that is my number five Versace Man of Fresh, a very good summer scent. Coming up for my number four is Versace Delan Blue for Ohm. Oh my god, I'm very sorry. This is just my number four. This is very good. I like this. It's the, I'm not saying this is a bad fragrance. This is my one of my favorite versatile um versatile king of the fragrance community it's really good it's a fruity as well as spicy and a very fresh aquatic vibe there is even our the bergamot one of my favorite and ambroxin combo and very very nice aquatic vibe in there but it's just so synthetic that's why uh, this is my number four because it's really smelling with blue de chanel sometimes millions in uh, the year sauvage in the dry down so it's uh, people who love and hate in this this fragrance but this is i really like it is too they, that's why it's my number four because it's kind of like synthetic to me because everyone everyone smells like blue de chanel and um um the year sauvage but you know i i, I really i really wear this in the summer night it's just really good on a very humid summer i like this too and a very good for the winter that's why it's number four um versace delan blue for um coming up my number three is versace eros flame this is a flanker to that original 2012 Versace Eros. This was launched in last 2018. Just was last year. This year is 2019. This was just released last last year, 2018. This is my number three because when I really first tested this last year, oh, I really fall in love with it. Very, very good. It's spicy, sweet. Trust is spicy, sweet, and woody. But the first blast on this is very good, like citrus and very that spicy. It's really warm, but I will just recommend this to wear this on a very cold winter and fall. I rated this a 10 out of 10. It's not a versatile because it's, you can only wear it because it's really warm in your body. Man, the blast of that citrus is really fresh. And then it will dry down into a woody spicy. I like the scent. Man, I really do. I really do. See. I like it. Yes. Oh, that citrus. That's amber. And that spicy. It's really shit. I'll do, I want to put this in number one. But no. Because it's just a very, very wintry, wintry fragrance. In the fragrance community, some is really say, hey, I don't like it. I don't like it. E, this too, this two reviewer even says, don't buy them. But man, please buy them. Man, 
as an Asian, I live in New Zealand, I really like it. I do really like it. I want to put this in my number one, but no. I want to put this in number one, but um, I, I, I love the other two as well. So this is really good fragrance. I, I really like it. The longevity is good. 10 out of 10 longevity. You know, when I first tried it in my own bottle, I sprayed it one, two, one, two, on one, two, the sixth spray. It lasts me for 16 hours when I woke up in the morning. Oh gee, oh gee. And now it's really a compliment gifter. Man, when I I entered to that meeting and the meeting in in a very wide, um, very, very not close uh, meeting room. Man, the first says, oh, smell good in here. And I was there for an hour. You know, in that sledge, man, is it like a tight ticking time bomb? You know that this this sillage, that trail it goes to an under under the door and went out. It's really this is a ten out of ten. I really rate this a ten out of ten. It's really fresh, warm, sexy, elegant. I could I, I will recommend this a dress down and dress up. Very good set. Just try this, man. Try this. A perfect scent for me. 10 out of 10 for everything. Longevity of price, presentation, um, performance, 10 out of 10. It's a total of 10 out of 10. Try this, guys. Very good. That's my number three. Versace Eros Flame. And my number four. Oh, my number four. This is the legend, the dreamer. Yes, I was dreaming, sorry. Yes, my number four, my 10 out of 10 as well. That dreamer, the classic, the man himself, the king of tobacco, the king of the tobacco based fragrance out there. But this is just a discontinued. It's really hard to find. Man, I've been looking this for a year and finally I order it because my sponsor has none of this always out of stock it's really hard to find it's really hard to find guys this is the king the dreamer versace the dreamer this was launched last 1996 yes you are right it's 1996 and it's still very good at this point every reviewer fragrance community love this fragrance out there and it's a collector items now discontinued they don't make this anymore and it's really really hard to find it's expensive because it's it's um it's discontinued man oh no you know that smell whoo that smell the tobacco of this i before i don't really like tobacco i don't like tobacco but you know, with this man, I fall in love with this. The first time I smell this, man, it will open up to you. Sage, lavender, and mandarin orange. Oh, it's really good. It's at opening in that very good, and it will dry down to you a very different from the opening. It is to dry down and it's a stick there in 12 hours plus the rose, the tobacco, and the tonka bin and cedar wood combo. It's really good the smell. This is my, my 10 out of 10 as well. Same with this guy. 10 out of 10 fragrance. Performance, 16 hours plus. The smell, the scent, 10 hour plus. Um... The bottles, elegant, simple, and the classic 10 out of 10 presentation. Longevity, performance, 10 out of 10. The price, it's ex expensive though, but it's still for me. This is very 10 out of 10 fragrance. My number two, Versace the Dreamer. 
my number one. Can you guess? Before I go on to my number one top, my number one fragrance in the house of Versace, check this website, guys. If you are in New Zealand, if you are in Australia, check this website or you go to the their, their shop, Mount Traskill, Auckland, New Zealand. It's the Gadget Online and said limited this one i put this in the link the, i put um plus this in the link that's it guys this this is a very good shop very cheapy authentic one of the kind it just says gadgets online but yeah they sell up from fragrance as well thank you for that check that out check that out guys you can find everything that very hard to find and every good price because they are uh, they are give you a very good discount and a deal of their fragrances. My number one, of course. My man, my man, the king of the night. Versace Eros, the 2012 king. Versace Eros, 2012 king. Versace Eros. This green, it says there, it will open up to you a very, very good. This will open the mint and vanilla and a tongue caffeine. This is my new bottle. This is 200 ml. And it's kind of different though to the original. Because, you know, the, uh, in, in my opinion, maybe it's really reformulated. This is my new bottle. Uh, I bought this something this year. My original. This is the original. I still have one. Um, the mint of this is very toned up. And this one is toned down. It, they're not really the same. I think it's reformulated anymore. And this is really, I bought, um, this is a 200... 2013 battle now it's been how many years now it's been five five years it's so different because this minty i finished this all look i finished it i'm not really finished it will dry down to you a very different but still the mint the woody and the abroxin it's very that makes you a very very good scent this is the king and a very crowd pleaser a cloud person and a compliment magnet Ladies will love this, you know, in, even in, in the night, if you go to bonfire, going out at night, this is very stand out. And, you know, this is a 10 out of 10 for me as well. That's why it's my number one. As you can see, I finished, almost finished my first bottle from 2013, the original. And then I think it's really reformulated, but I love it. I kind of like the reformulation than to the first because this first, this is the first really release. I mean, not really first release, but it was like I bought this in 2013. And it's the mint in this is so different because it's really torn off. It's really minty. That's why people don't like it because it's really minty. But this, this release, this batch, it's toned down. The presentation, look at it. It's very groovy, the classic. Atomizer, perfect. Scent, 10 out of 10. Price, 110 and 200 bottles. Come on, guys. And it's very good in longevity. 12 hours plus for me, in my opinion, my skin. And it's not just versatile. It, it's you can wear this on a night, every whatever night, a night king for me. Really good, ten out of ten as well. Performance is wise, price, longevity, and the presentation perfect. My number one. I have I, I have another two. I've, this never went to top five list 
I'm not saying this is bad. Oh man, there are a lot of people who love this as well. This sometimes you can see a lot of reviews. This where come sometimes your number one or number two. But for me, it's 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 very um on the summertime, and because I I I love I really love a summer scent. Because in our country, it's tropical in, in, in the Philippines. But now when I move in New Zealand, my nose is different. So I'm into something. But I, I'm not saying I don't like this. It's really still good. This is the Versace 4 Ohm. Very nice. You know, this is the classic bottle. This is like the Dylan Blue. Went to the top five. And this one too. I have this. Versace Long, ooh, de tole. Man, this is a barber shop. I have a review. I have a review um video on this, but I didn't upload why. I don't really like it. Man, I don't want to give it this to you. Who wants this? Just raise your hands. Very classic, musky, very musky. You know, this is a very grandpa. This is your grandpa going to church. This is grandpa going to a meeting. This is your grandpa um, going to the barber. This is so very dated. I don't like it. It's so musky. Even though there are a lot of notes in there. But you know, the moss is so rotunda. It's really a very, very old scent. I don't like it. So I didn't upload a video because I don't know why. I regret I very buy this. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh man, someone's very, someone's like this, but this is a discontinued as well. And it's really hard to find, but um, I don't like it. I personally don't like it. I, I will not even wear this anymore. Honestly, I will make a video and I will, get, I will make this a giveaway. Some will all make, some will love a barbershop scent. And then the grandpa old scent, the very musky and the, that umber, it will tone down. Even there is this spicy and floral out of it. That it, the price spicy in the floral will will um will fade away and end up with a must. Very musky. Yeah, this is Versace Loam, a very classic one. It these two never goes to the top five. And then there is this Versace blue jeans. Versace man, they're, they're really hard to find in my sponsor and they don't have it. Even this um, Versace Oud Noir. That one is always available but I don't really like Oud. That's why it's not in my collection. I stay away but some if my sponsor will give that to me, I will make that review and I will put that down in my honest review. Yeah, this is my top five Versace fragrance in the house of Versace. And tell me in the description below or the comment below what's your top five Versace fragrance. See you again. Thank you so much. This is Patrick T. Finoy Cubizen. God bless and peace out.